Hello, everybody. This is Jason Donnelly, a.k.a. DJ Puzzle, reporting for my website, iPadLoops.com. And today I'm going to show you real quick how you can use Woodman Wood Presser, an audio unit compressor that has side chaining to achieve side chain pumping within Cubasis. So for that, we're going to need two tracks. One with a simple MIDI chord for this demonstration. We're going to just set up two tracks, one with a nice sustained chord so that we can use a kick drum on the other track to trigger the side chain compressor, which will then give us that pumping effect. So real basic setup here uh, for this demonstration. Okay, no pumping. Now let's go in and add Woodman Wood Presser. And as far as I know, this is the only audio unit compressor that offers traditional side chaining. So we'll have that effect open on both tracks and what we're going to do is affect the the pad the first track so we're going to use side receive channel one right and adjust your parameters accordingly now this is where i would go traditionally when i would use a side chain pumping effect uh, on my desktop um, you'll find that these settings don't always work so well, so you'll have to mess around with them a little bit uh, in this compressor, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Now, this compressor has a tube distortion. I'll turn that off, too. Now, here is the kick drum, and we're going to send, side send, to channel 1, and that'll deactivate all the other parameters on that track. And now we're sending a kick signal to that compressor to trigger the compressor. Now, you can hear it. It's pumping. It's there. A little bit of a click in there. I think that's an artifact from the compressor itself. Perhaps a bug. Uh, so I'm going to bring the attack, the slow that attack up a little bit. Kind of get sort of the clicking sound. But if you notice, this is a pre-fader effect. So you'll still get your pumping, even when the volume is down or when the track is muted on the key track, the, the one that's sending the signal to the other compressor. Now, because it's AU, the nice thing is we can send that same kick over to another instance of Woodman Wood Presser. And we can sidechain another track. One thing to note, the channel setting in the compressor does not refer to the actual track or channel in your DAW. It's actually eight different channels that can link up within the app itself. Whoa. Turn that, that down a little. So add another Woodman. Compressor, okay. Receive the same channel, receive channel one. Now you can set this up to, uh, I think, eight different channels. So you can have all kinds of different side chain pumping rhythms happening. That's it. Woodman's Wood Presser AU with traditional style side chain pumping. So I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, if you like my videos and my channel and you're not subscribed, please do subscribe and uh, click the little bell icon so you can get notifications when I post new videos. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks for tuning in.